Good morning, this is Liz. Thank you for joining me on this cold December morning in my little cottage in Fairytale Town. Today, we'll be traveling again. During the last weeks, we traveled by electric car and sometimes by magic. Today, we're gonna start our journey in the simplest and most humble way there is, on foot. And I invite you to come with me. Don't worry about your luggage, you're not gonna need much. Where we are going, everything we could ever want is already there. Today, we are going home. Everything needs to be finished. Everything needs to get done. Isn't it ironic how right before the beginning of a new year, we often act as if there was never gonna be another year to accomplish things, to reach our goals. To me, being in nature is the best reminder that there will always be another year. All these rocks and streams and caves have been here long before I was and will be here when I'm long gone, year after year. The seasons come and go, following their endless cycle, never rushing, giving everything the time it needs. In the forest, nothing suggests that in the cities, People are rushing to get the last presents or groceries, while in offices projects have to be finished and deadlines have to be met. In the forest, the stream flows as it always does. The wind gently sways the branches of the trees as it always does. The forest is entirely unfazed by what seems so incredibly important to us. This used to be a proper hiking trail, but nature has started to claim it back. We're just guests here. And sometimes you just reach a point where there is no turning back. There is only going forward. But there is simply no easy way out. And that is okay. I made this my mantra while studying long hours for my degree years ago. No easy way out. And it really shifted my mindset and gave me a new perspective on challenges in life. We tend to give up and turn back because the trail ahead of us appears too difficult to walk. Because there is no easy way. But not easy doesn't mean impossible. And many of the best things in life simply aren't easy to get. They require some dedication and willpower, but they help us grow.
You know, there is a time to focus on our goals, to work, to show dedication and to pull through. And there is a time to rest, to be calm, to enjoy. There is a right time for everything in life. There is also a time to be grateful for what we have and the right time for that is always to be grateful even for the small things that we tend to overlook in our everyday lives. We often don't appreciate them because they don't seem special and yet it depends entirely on us to make even simple things special to us. Feeling gratitude has often very little to do with what we actually have and a lot to do with how much value we give the people, the things and the moments in our lives. It's already starting to get dark. We should make sure we reach the town before nightfall. just a place. It's the people we love and cherish, our family, our friends, our pets. It's the little alleys we know like the back of our hand. It's the view from our window that slowly changes with the seasons. It's the warm, cozy feeling of being exactly where we are meant to be.